quack everybody! Shit. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. My name's Ollie. This is Pint Sized. Obviously. What have we missed since we last saw this on here? Two days ago, on the 24th of January, the humble beer can celebrated its 80th birthday. A year or so ago, cans accounted for half of all beer packaging. Surely that's not that weird. You've got cans, you've got bottles, you've got sacks, you've got bags. You've got sacks again, and you've got people just cupping their hands and drinking out of their cupped, cupped hands. Despite craft beer actually sort of snubbing cans, they actually preserve beer better than bottles, since bottles can let in light and degrade the beer. And there's a nice short little video in the description below about how cans have changed over the last 80 years. God, that sounds exciting. In highly non-shocking news this month, Anheuser-Busch, one of the world's biggest beer companies, have been accused of using shocking payment plans for their smaller suppliers. In lighter news, it was calculated this month that 146,000 pints of beer are consumed every hour by Londoners. A figure seemingly huge until compared with the 850,000 cups of tea that they drink every hour. Maybe it's because I'm a Londoner that I have to go to the toilet all the time. And finally, Icelandic brewer Steggy has produced a beer using fin whale testicles. Not only that, the testicles are smoked in dry sheep dung to give that extra ball sack sheep poo flavour that we're all looking for. It's caused a bit of controversy because the fin whales are actually on the IUCN's red list of endangered species, although the brewery have said they're sticking with Icelandic sustainable whaling laws. I doubt it's, I doubt it's flying off the shelves anyway, why they? They're probably selling about two. One to me. Mmm. Poo. And balls. A big thanks to everyone that's been in touch over the Christmas break. I've heard from a bunch of YouTubers, including one called Jorian from Belgium. I think that's right, it might be Jorian. Or Jorian. Who gave me a fun quack fact! Apparently quack bars are so precious over their glasses with their wooden brackets that the bartenders will actually ask for someone's shoe as a deposit. Stinky. Here's the plan for 2015. With the help of some awesome beers, we're going to continue trudging through the bog that is Wikipedia to find those little gold nuggets of knowledge. There's so much to talk about in the world of beer and cider that it's going to be an awesome year. I'm really excited. You should be too. So let's go. Let's head to the beer can to find out what I'm drinking today. Oh, it's Rakow IPA from the Colonel Brewery in London. The Colonel Brewery, in their own words, spring from the need to have more good beer. Beer deserving of a certain attention. Beer that forces you to confront and consider what you are drinking. Upfront hops, lingering bitternesses, warming alcohols, bodies of malt. Sounds good, let's go. It's a nice hazy, misty golden colour, and I can really smell sort of grape, lychee, quite exotic fruits just from pouring it. It's got a very fruity aroma, super hoppy flavour. It's got a really fruity taste as well, big burst of citrus, I'm getting that grape and lychee once again. And it's got a really nice kind of caramelised peach aftertaste. It's kind of like a pudding. It does give you that aftertaste sort of tingling in your mouth that just makes you think your taste buds are just going, yeah, this is so great! Colonel, if your mission is to make good beer, that's mission accomplished, I think. The random articles for today are... Cassinelli, Tom Dolan, Yang Bang En, Hung, Mohabat Ho Gai Han Tumse. Well, three of those are probably pronounced completely wrong, so we're going to go with Cassinelli, because it sounds like a footballer, or a Peruvian soft drink? Here it is. It's made by Enrique Cassinelli and Sons Company from Peru, and it's a cola-based drink. It comes in the flavour of cola, strawberry, pineapple, champagne, and dorada. Dor dorada. This is dorada. It's another name for gilt head bream, which is a fish. Maybe this Icelandic whale thing is catching on. I'm completely at a loss here. It is listed as one of Cassinelli's flavours, and all Google throws up is that it is another name for a type of fish. I really can't find anything, anything to prove that it isn't just a fish, a fizzy fish drink. Oh well. I guess it still tastes better than Heineken! 
That's time at the bar. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. The main myth with IPAs, however, is that Hodgson originally formulated this beer to last the long journey, and that the hoppy nature of IPAs meant they had a natural preservative, meaning they could survive long journeys at sea. Wrong! So wrong! It's wrong! Wrong! It's not true!